a drill a while ago, and he's done a great job, and I'm excited about him. Every time you have six foot ten up there lined up and benching 350 or so, he's, he's doing an excellent job, and he's fitting in real well with everybody else, which I'm real pleased, which I knew would happen anyway. As good as the toppers were at scoring points, seven and three was not good enough to make the playoffs. So the team is more determined than ever to be Big East Conference contenders. Yeah, I hope so. We just got to come out and play hard every night. You know, we come out and play hard every night. Whatever happens, happens. We think we have a strong team, but it's an awful long road to the end of the season when they decide, you know, who won the conference. So uh, we're just going to work hard right now and take it as it goes. I hope we can be contenders again. Wow. We're just going to have to take one game at a time, you know. We can't think ahead, you know, to the next game. We just have to, to play that game, win that game. Just making sure that we're focused and just making sure that we don't have any distractions, you know, making sure that we forget about last year. You know, uh, we even the success that we did have last year on offense, we got to forget that and make sure that we come back and are working hard to even better that. And on defense, we got to make some adjustments there and making sure that we're doing the, the right things. The Hilltoppers kick it off Friday night, August 30th at Elizabethton. Tonight, 11 o'clock, Bart Peace. We're And our coaching staff did such a great job. Not me, but our coaching staff. And then playing at home, it's not hard playing in front of these Betsy fans. So the final tonight, Elizabeth and over Science Seal. That final 33 to 29. It was loud and beaten Maribel. And Elizabeth in first quarter action, Science Seal quarterback Matt Wiljump goes across the middle, intended for Mike Rader, but it's off his hands into the hands of a streaking David Cassell. And he goes 45 yards diving into the end zone. That little flip of the football cost his team a 15-yard penalty. The extra point was no good. The Cyclones come back with a fake punt on fourth and one. And Sean Witten gets the first down just past the yard marker. And that's Ryan Presnell avoiding one tackler, breaking two more. He will stiff arm Brandon Thomas in the end zone. Touchdown, Elizabethan, despite losing to Cock County last week. The Cyclones come back this week to knock off Science Hill 33-29. What a game to start the first full week of the regular season. Mark? Sullivan Central played its first. Hill quarterback Matt Wiljem. The pass here intended for Mike Rader, but watch, it's kind of deflected around to the other guy, David Cassell, and he goes in for the Science Hill touchdown. Kind of unique. Elizabeth comes right back, though, with their ground game. Ryan Pesnell with some really tough running. Ryan knocks him down, goes through the hole, almost fools our cameraman, but he is not going to be denied as 44 gets into the end zone. The Cyclones win a wild thriller, 33 to 29. Well, the Hampton Bulldogs should be loaded for bear this season. But the best thing his team is unbeaten in the league play. Our latest player of the week is a strong passing bomber from Science Hill High School. Last week, Matt Wilson used more than his arm to guide the Hilltoppers to a come-from-behind win in overtime against Jefferson County on the road. And as Eyewitness Sports' Kevin Clark reports, the playoff future is looking brighter than ever for the Hill, with their versatile quarterback leading the way. The Science Hill Hilltoppers are undefeated in conference play. And late in the game last Friday night at Jefferson County, senior quarterback Matt Wiljum made sure they stayed that way. We got the go-ahead touchdown with. He has the option to do that, and he saw the opening and uh, was able to get it in the end zone, which was a good, tremendous asset to him and this football team as well at that point in time in the game. Yeah, it was it was it was a big team win. Everyone everyone pulled together real well, and everyone did their job, and we knew we knew what our jobs were going to be before going into the game. And Will Jim's job evaluation read like this: 264 yards in the air, putting him over the 3,000 career mark. One touchdown pass and two more rushing himself, including the game winner in overtime earning him Player of the Week honors. Watauga Orthopedics and TV 11 takes a great deal of joy in presenting you the Player of the Week for last week. Congratulations, Matt. Thank you, sir. Wiljum's one of the few high school quarterbacks in our area to use the shotgun formation. And he's always cocked and ready with both barrels, aiming for any of his talented wide receivers. They make me look awful good a lot of times. Uh, 
uh, I, you know, I just have to get it near them, and they and they pull it in, and they'll they'll you know they'll pull in a five yard pass and get 15 yards out of it. And that goes along with uh, people up front, the offensive line are doing a great job as far as giving them the protection, and the running backs also, and the receivers as far as catching it. He does a great job when I say Matt, uh, uh, as far as running the shotgun offense and, and executing the things that we ask him to do. And they'll be asking at least three more times this season for an unbeaten conference record beginning Friday night when Maryville Heritage comes to town. In Johnson City, I'm Kevin Clark reporting for Eyewitness Sports.